It's a bit of a rainy early spring morning here in Jersey City, New Jersey, and today I have a video tutorial that will teach you how to make a double thick hat brim. So when you work on the hat, the layer right here uh, around the forehead, ears, the back of the head will be double thick. It looks like this. You can see the inside here, let's get a little better light, um, is one layer of fabric and the outside. The video that I'll show you today will show you how to connect these two pretty easily and also some tips on how to use this to modify an existing hat pattern that you have. So stay tuned for more. Hi, this is Wendy Ann. Today I'd like to show you a video tutorial on how to create a double thick hat brim. Today's video is sponsored in part by Blind Buck Farm. You can find them at blindbuckfarm.com. The owner, Lubna, terrific lady, she actually provided the yarn uh, for me to make a hat pattern for the farm. What I have here is the color flag blue. It's their camel worsted made from 30% camel fiber and 70% targi wool. Um, I just have to say when I started to knit up my swatch to make this pattern. I picked the color. It's just amazing. It's so soft and lightweight and that's due in part to the camel fiber. Um, camel fiber, their coats have both a coarse type of fiber and a downy undercoat and it's that downy undercoat that is used um, for making wool and some of the fine camel fabrics that you may be familiar with. Uh, the fiber itself is hollow in the middle there's a, a center point of air that acts as a vacuum, which is a terrific insulator. That's how come those animals can thrive in the freezing cold desert night and endure the blistering hot daytime desert conditions. So it makes a terrific blend with um, wool. And Targi, the Targi sheep is an American breed. You can find out more about camel fiber and targi wool online, but it's just, it's so interesting to me. It's one of the things I love about uh, our craft of knitting and crochet, um, the world of sheep breeds. Look at these cute guys. It's, it's so vast and varied. It's amazing, um, the creation of all these different animals and their different type of fiber characteristics. Um, at any rate, the Targi is a sheep that was actually bred in the United States um, in the last hundred years. So it's a new breed as far as sheep go. Uh, and the fiber is very soft. You can use it next to skin, good for baby wear. Um, it has a nice uh, spinning quality. If you use sp spinners out there, you can spin Targi quite thin. Um, get a nice, fine, soft, luxurious yarn. So back to my video tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do is create a double thick brim. Now I have here uh, a hat for my pattern. Oh, I just lost my stitch marker. Very beautiful jeweled stitch marker. I also got this at Blind Buck Farm. Uh, I saw them at Vogue Knitting Live in New York uh, last month. Anyway, to do a double thick brim, what we want to do is create some extra fabric that we can then fold under. And then the video here is about attaching this fabric to the body of the hat. Um, so to give you an idea, this would be the part that goes down over the head and I'm going to continue working on this hat and just take it up and finish the, the shaping with some crown decreases. So this is the body of the hat pattern based on my swatch that I worked up. You can modify an existing pattern to do a double thick brim. Uh, basically what you want to do is cast on the number of stitches that are called for in the pattern. You work about three inches, two to three inches, and then you, you start your hat pattern for whatever the pattern calls for. Um, and then you work two to three inches. So you have your first two to three inches that is additional that you're adding to create an extra layer of warmth on the inside of the hat. And then you have your first two to three inches of that pattern. So these lengths will be equal. Now you notice um, it happens to be in my pattern as well, but if you'd like, 
when you do your extra fabric and you come to right before you start your hat pattern fabric this is if you're modifying an existing pattern um, you can do two rows of pearl when you do that pearl stitch it's going to help your extra fabric fabric fold under quite nicely so I do two rows of pearl regardless of the type of hat pattern I'm using in these stitches here it just makes a nice easy fold under now when we start um, the technique to attach it you know there's different ways to do this you could do a provisional cast on uh, you could also sew the extra layer of fabric into the body of the hat after you completed the rest of it um, but this technique I find simple easy straightforward and I like simple easy and straightforward so I'm going to show it to you hopefully you'll like it the main idea that I want you to get here is this is where I started I cast on I went around I did my ribbing this stitch if you follow it all the way up it's my next live stitch that I need to knit what I'm going to do is take the yarn from right here and I'm going to put it on my needle up here and I will continue this existing pattern knit knit purl purl knit knit and for each stitch that I'm going to take off my cast on edge and one at a time I'll add them to my needle I'm going to work them together so I'll just show you I'm folding it under getting that stitch from my cast on edge sorry about the band-aid slice my thumb at work today cutting red peppers having a healthy salad or a healthy vegetable uh, vegetarian meal today and I chopped my finger <laughs> anyway um, so we're going to knit those two together and then we'll take the second one just grab that add it onto the needle with the live stitch knit those two together so just one at a time one at a time you take your stitches from the cast on edge you add it to your needle to work with the live stitches hoping you're getting this oops and I'm going to purl these two together so I right. cast on edge now if you're careful and you go slow every single stitch from the cast on edge one at a time you can add it to the needle and work with your live stitches if you get towards the end of the round and you're just you've got these guys connected and you're starting to do these ones adding them on one at a time to the needle to, to finish up your round and you find that you don't have the right number somewhere along the line you didn't pick up enough or you picked up too many and there's not enough here there's extra stitches here what I'd like you to think about is if you observe the fabric if it's pulling and puckering rip it out if it's just one or two stitches off um, and you have a little bit of of room here with this last bit of fabric you can work it out by just um, either not taking as many stitches from here to finish up these and, and just moving it because it's ribbing it stretches so if you have to stretch a little bit or push it a little bit that's fine as long as on the outside of the hat this fabric here you're not getting pulling or puckering to distort your finished item you never want to sacrifice quality in your finishing um, be, for just ripping out a single round it's better to rip it out and do I it hope again. this video was informative for you please subscribe I have a lot more coming uh, down the line a lot more planned for our wonderful fiber arts community I am here to be a positive influence I am the knit and crochet optimist so you have a great day enjoy your knitting knit with a smile please subscribe 
And thanks so much for tuning in. Um, and don't forget to visit Blind Buck Farm. Great yarn. And they're known for um, their wonderful blends. And I should add, too, as long as I'm kind of giving a plug for these folks, because uh, the woman, she's just so nice. You can read the story of the farm and how they started on their website. Uh, but they're known for blending um, unique blends of yarns. For instance, I have this camel with targi wool. I mean, they have a lot of mohair blends that um, just have a wonderful soft hand to them when you pick them up. Um, so I think you should check it out, learn more for yourself, and look for them at the Sheep and Wool Festivals. All right, have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.